All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, my soul pearls, my thoughts on soul pearls. Because with Genki Sale, um, one thing that happens to me over time is I usually end up running out of things to buy to fill up the pot, I guess. You could say, like, I have four Kamaitachis by now. I have four Black Cats by now. Um, I have Shni, uh, Shadow Knight, etc. Like, I have all this stuff that you could say you, you should get. Um, so for me, I usually try to work on my Soul Pearls, and recently, um, I've been reevaluating my Soul Pearls, so I'm going to tell you guys my new plan for Soul Pearls. Um, so, regarding my HP page, honestly, I'm fine probably getting more Irix, because Irix is like the uh, best pearl, because you can use it on every class. A black cat, I mean, not black cat, um, Iric is the same thing as Skelemage, but Skelemage is the free to play version and only works in certain classes. So with me, if I keep changing classes, I might have to pick up some Iric pearls to, um, maybe I'd have Delay Death on every class because not having Delay Death is a pretty big disadvantage, honestly, and can be rather unfortunate. So I think I might pick up more Irics. Um, next. I think Storm Raccoon has surpassed Black Cat for practical use, I guess. Um, if you're falling under 30% HP, I think I'd rather have a Storm Raccoon Pearl than a Black Cat Pearl. The reason being is because when you get trigger your Storm Raccoon, you get a, um, at max devour, I believe, it goes to 100%, I think. Or is it set effect? Nope, it's only 70%? Okay. Anyways. The reason increased by 46. Anyway, anyways, um, Storm Raccoon still adds attack and defense and HP, it's still, so it still adds flat stats to you, which obviously is not comparable to 30% attack, or 30% damage, which is an insane damage buff. But the reason that it's so good is when you can restore your first transformation, for most people, we're using Great Magician. You can then be using two Great Magicians in the, in the same dungeon. So, let's say I... Transform Great Magician, doing APOC, like, let's say I'm doing APOC 12, Transform Great Magician, blah blah blah, get out my damage, and then after my Great, my great Magician ends, um, I allow myself to be hit to, to low HP, because a lot of people, you will be able to, to live through the AoEs and stuff like that, and get to low HP, actually. So, I just allow myself to get hit by not mounting myself, and then, because most people will not get one shot in APOC um, 12 or so, by the AoEs. I'm not sure if I can show it off right now because um, I'm alone and not having a priest is kind of annoying, but if you can survive like one AoE at like under 30% HP, it's rather easy to manipulate your pearls under that circumstance. So yeah, let me see if I can get in there and uh, do it. Enter. And then go into APOC. <sighs> Oh my gosh, just takes so long, it takes so long to load. So yeah, I'm not going to mount up or anything, I'm just going to sit here and like, take the hit, honestly. Hopefully, um, it shows off what I want to show off. My cat's taking the hits from me right now. Okay, I can take the AoE here. Oh wait, the AoE one shots me. <laughs> okay, well... With a Matarasu, I'd live that, honestly. 100% I'd live that with a Matarasu. But, if you can, most people won't die to that. I die to that because my character is very squishy, as you guys know. 72k defense. Um, not really much tenacity, but with a Matarasu, I'd live that. So, maybe, uh, but yeah. Um, with a Matarasu Pearl, I'd live that. Nympha plus Matarasu gives you like 1.7k tenacity or something. I don't know. I don't really remember. No, like 1.4k. What's Nympha again? Matras 650, 650. Okay, so 700 plus 700 is 14, so 1300 uh, tenacity. Yeah, 1300 tenacity. Um, so yeah, uh, that's something that you can do to manipulate your uh, pearls and to be able to get your pearl back. And then another pearl that I'm gonna change out actually, uh, most people might not have saw coming was El is Ella pearl. Um, Ella Pearl, I think, might be better in PvP, but I think in the current state of PvE, with Great Magician being able to tank and have a shield, um, as well as being tanky, plus the highest damage transform, 
Um, I'm switching. I'm thinking of switching to uh, Saint Hume pearls. Uh, can buy them. E D D D D D no, no, no. Here, here. Sen no 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 no. Here we are. Senhime pearls because Senhime gives you a flat attack increase, and I think that 5k attack is a lot um, for most people. So I think that the damage bonus that you gain from Senhime um, is kind of worth it. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm changing my pearls to full damage pearls and just maximizing my damage in general. Because right now I've been using Ella Pearl to kind of just um, live off of not taking damage and having my priest heal me up. However, most transform these days have a decent amount of lifesteal. And if you have a priest uh, plus lifesteal, you can probably live anyways. Um, not when Miku is the best for lifesteal, honestly, but which also saved me in gate a couple times this week because of the Raccoon Mallet. But yeah, yeah, I'm just going to be switching to full damage pearls, honestly. Um, so that's my pearl plan, honestly. But... Obviously not everyone has to do the same thing. Wow, I have full red here. But I think Ella Pearl isn't fully needed anymore. Because my my um, transforms are able to heal themselves, I'm able to do enough damage to heal myself. So I'm going to go for the attack bonus. Uh, along with the fact that I think that Storm Raccoon being able to refresh my pearls for the uh, transform is really, really needed in my opinion. So yeah. I'm probably going to run like 3 Senhime, 1 Ella, or 3 Senhime, 1 Arietta, depending on how I feel about whatever, but yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one, um, hopefully you guys come back in the next one.